Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. It's a pleasure to be able to unpack God's Word for you here again today, and I am looking forward to sharing that with you. I hope you're doing well, and I thank you for joining me. We're going to take a look today at the book of Galatians, Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. And there is a great message or two here with this passage that I want to share with you. And uh, let's take a look at it together. Are you ready? Look at this. Galatians 6, 7 and 8. It says, don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So Paul here is writing to the church in Galatia, and he talks about how you cannot mock the justice of God. Now, there's some people that believe in, in something called karma. We, as followers of Jesus Christ, we don't believe in karma, okay? That, that's that's a, like a Buddhist term. It, it, we, we, don't, we don't go there, okay? But, <clears throat> on the flip side, we do believe that you reap what you sow. And that is straight from this scripture here today. And God has a bit of a justice system by which if we, this scripture says, if we, if we plant or sow uh, with our sinful nature, then what we're going to reap with that is nothing but decay and death. In other words, if we are trying to live our lives in such a way that uh, we're, we're doing things against God's word, okay? If, if we are intentionally violating the word of God and not living by that, then we cannot expect to reap uh, anything but uh, bad things, the result of sinful behavior, the result of sinful stuff. And we tend to deceive ourselves if we think that God's somehow going to bless our efforts when they've been nothing but sinful. For example, if you have a relationship that is contrary to God's word, uh, whether it be abusive or it's a sinful relationship, then asking God to place a bow on that and bless that, that's just not going to happen. Because you're sowing, you're planting in sin, and so you're going to reap that. But now on the opposite side, if you plant and if you sow, uh, according to this scripture, uh, in what pleases the Spirit and what goes with God's Word, then you will reap everlasting life from that Spirit. You will actually have life. It's really not that hard, is it? And yet we make it so difficult. <laughs> we make it so difficult. We make it like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to do my own thing. And because I'm so happy, God's got to say A-OK with it. And he doesn't. Uh, and I'll be honest with you. It takes more work to do things God's way than to give in to our flesh and to give in to, to sin. But if we put in the work... And if we sow and if we plant in the way that God wants us to do things, and this goes for our relationships, this goes for our business, this goes for our life, this goes for our work on the campus. I mean, every facet of life. If we do things God's way, here's what it comes down to. If we do things God's way, God will bless that. If we don't do things God's way, we can't expect God to. To bless that. And so I really want to encourage you to do a little bit of a spiritual inventory today and evaluate, okay, am I doing things the way that God would want me to do in whatever you fill in the blank with there? And let's make a deliberate effort 
to constantly do things in a way that pleases the Holy Spirit. Amen? All right. That's all I got for you. Have a wonderful day today. I pray your Tuesday is good. And Lord willing, we'll see you again next time, okay? God bless. Bye-bye.